That beautiful girl. A little cold. So, I know you won't see it in the camera, but it's snowing. And I'm working on the swap here. Uh, I can't tell you why I'm working on the swap here, but I can show you what I've done to it. If I put this video up now, I can't tell you. Pulled our skirting, built these, put them in here. We pulled our accelerators off this turtle and put in these cages, which are here normally. Welded rebar on all these as grabs. Uh, we haven't replaced our knives yet. That's what happens when you uh, cut where there's rock. Yeah, like chips ends off. Gone through and, you know, typical Heston skid plates. Uh, if, if you cut where there's rock and you hit a rock, you'll split these welds. Uh, you know, I've gone through, done a couple of them. Uh, but yeah, so we may, I'm hoping, we, we're not going to do it yet, but we may have to weld a bar from here on across to the other one. The other one's just the same. Got over to here, just pulled those plates out, put bolts across them. I'm gonna try to kick that crop further in. <coughs> so, we're gonna get this thing moved out of the way for now. Now maybe, maybe you can see a, see a few snowflakes fluttering. Get up here and roll cab. So, I would love, I'm going to be posting this video uh, tonight, I would love to tell you guys what I'm doing, a few people know, um, but there is a reason why I can't show current things anymore. Uh, number one is, uh, some of it's for a good reason, I've got, uh, Last video I put up problems with the baler. Within 12 hours, uh, that video had been sent to my dealer oh four or five times, and uh, I was actually talking to him about another deal, and they're like, "Hey, while you're on the phone, let's talk about this." And uh, it was a great conversation. It really was. Uh, there's, uh, the baler does need to go in uh, for warranty work, uh, but the video was mainly about how little is actually wrong with that baler. I mean, I, I'm very, very happy with the baler. Uh, my scheduling just does not match uh, what I, I would say most people are used to. Uh, it's my own fault. I don't have employees. And I can't say no to jobs. So that's that's a big reason why I have scheduling conflicts. Uh, a few other things, but mainly was just get, you know, things lined out. And I thought I was going to have time to get the baler to him, but I had something come up. Don't think I'm going to use it for that. So, I mean, it was good because they were like, hey, you know, we see you have some problems let's get it worked out um and we're going to uh overall that that baler is a fantastic baler this thing behind me has had some issues um and i'm going to tell you one of the biggest problems with this machine it's it's, it's not this is that right there that thing works fantastically well that's what pays for this machine. But when there's one of those under there, more than likely these machi the machine that's above it, I mean, they're just getting rode hard and put away wet because if you're running that thing for a silage chopper, then 
you uh, you can't stop. We get there early in the morning, go over the machine, grease everything, and do the best we can to keep the machine in shape. But you've got a silage chopper sitting behind you. That thing's almost a million dollars. You got six trucks per chopper at least. Yeah, and you have all these people. Those machines can't stop. And so if you have a little thing happen, you just, you do what you can to make it work. And I don't think I would buy another machine with a merger under it, uh, just for that reason. Because that machine was one, one owner before me. And lots of little shit wrong with that machine. And have been. And you're always trying to fix it. Uh, there's a lot of things that I've done to that machine that have caused problems. You know, you run a gearbox off a center pivot into one of those machines. It ain't, it's not going to work. You're going to break a lot of stuff. Uh, we kind of figured we should have just warranted the head out. To be quite honest with you. Uh, a three, I think they're $400 gearboxes. Did about $12,000 worth of damage to the head on that thing. Uh, you bend rollers and tear stuff up and it just throws things into a lope <clears throat> and it causes a lot of damage and uh, sometimes they're not easily spot you know spotted so yeah you know, if you're a young guy you want to go buy you a new wind rower you never had a wind rower uh, if you don't need a merger probably don't buy you a machine with a merger under it because those things are worked they're not they're not like good alfalfa machines that are just, you know, going over manicured lawns. They are worked hard. Uh, but that's the only way I can pay for that machine is have a merger under it. And they are very nice to have. I'm not complaining about that at all. Uh, the other reason is I was talking to old, uh, Jeff Raymond or however you pronounce his last name is complaining about that like he's complaining about everything that one's just for Jeff and I have had uh, I have had people send my videos to my banker trying to get me to shut up or cause problems for me and it's it's pretty comical I when you really think about it those people are my number one fans that the minute I have a video out they're trying to send it to my bank to cause problems and you know every time Google sends me a check every month <laughs> you just kind of smile and go on uh, if I was saying stuff that wasn't true I'd probably be a little concerned about it but I'm not doing this for drama I'm just like when we're doing equipment reviews that's because I want you to see what's actually going on with the machine because that's my third self-propelled wind roar that I have purchased myself and I have learned a lot about them, and there's a lot of things you need to watch out for when you're buying them, because they can cost you a lot of money. Yeah, you know, I mean, ten thousand a year, man, you know, just in repairs, just like that, if you're not careful. So there's a lot of things you got to watch out for, and that's just uh, I, I want to share that on those machines. Personally, I I don't know that I'd buy a, a deer wind rower. Um, I loved my 49.95, but the service I get out of Livingston's because they're so close to me and the mechanics they have is just phenomenal. Now there is a reason why I have John Deere tractors in front of everything. It's because our John Deere tractor, our John Deere dealer on our tractors is phenomenal about getting tractors fixed and going. Uh, but that hay equipment, I. I'd be very hard pressed to run any other color. So, but we get a chance and everything works out the way it's looking like it's going to work out. We're going to have some really cool videos and kind of show you why we're doing that to that header. Uh, because it's it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm pretty nervous about it, but I'm just waiting on the, yeah, let's do it. And I'm going to, it's going to be probably a month long ordeal we'll get through it hopefully everything works out i have talked to a tremendous amount of people on this who are helping me 
uh, giving me ideas on what to do and hopefully it all just kind of pans out and it's not the nightmare that I think it's going to be but you know I got bills to pay so if it is we're just going to make it work anyways catch you on the next one and hopefully the next one we're going to tell you what we're actually doing with that so thanks for watching